Hello, and welcome to the Period 8 Broadcasting Holiday Showcase. Our class has made vast improvements since our last showcase, and we've created some festive holiday-themed projects. Each project is unique and is sure to brighten your holiday season. These were all creatively planned, filmed, and edited by the Period 8 Broadcasting class. Our first project, 12 Days of Dance, showcases a local dance studio in Peters Township, Ultimate Dance Complex. The girls from UDC feature their amazing dance skills in this cute twist to a traditional Christmas song. This project was created by two of their dancers, Penelope Growl and McKenna Parker. I loved all the turns and tricks in that. The next project, Christmas Spirit, was created by Ryan Passer, Will Schaefer, and Richie Woods. This project shows a little boy and his behavior around the holiday season, which is not approved by Santa. Let's take a look at their project. Christmas has had a lot of tales. Rudolph, St. Nicholas, Little Drummer Boy, even the tale of the elf who delivered the mail. But stories will be told, and children shall lie. It's in their nature to be so bold. I know it can save children from the list. I could just tell you, but I shall deny. And instead, I will allow you to see yourself. A tale of a virtue and lessons. A gain of goodness and change. And it all starts with a boy named Will. Yo, wake up. Who are you? I'm Christmas Barrett. You want to talk to me? Why are you dressed like this? What do you mean, why am I dressed like this? You're going to call for me, and I'm going to come out of my own free time to give you advice, and you're going to make fun of me for my outfit? What do you need some spirit with decorating this tree? Well, let me see. Do you swear? Yes. Do you have good grades? No. Okay, um, are you at least nice to people? No. And you're wondering why? You're right, I will change! I mean, alright bro, you do you. I'm gonna head out, stick to your plans, do your goals, dream big, I don't know. Wow, I sure hope he didn't make it onto Santa's naughty list. Ryan, the older brother, clearly did because he didn't actually teach him anything. The next project is a video tutorial on how to make a Christmas ornament created by Brendan McKay and Matthew Gray. This craft uses popsicle sticks, markers, and other various materials to create a fun addition to your Christmas tree. and happy holidays. In this video, we will be showing you how to make Christmas-themed popsicle stick ornaments that will bring some holiday cheer to your Christmas tree. For this craft, you are going to need popsicle sticks, googly eyes, various colored markers, pom-poms, ornament hooks, 
a hammer as well as a small nail, glue, and tape. The first step is to tape together two popsicle sticks and use a nail and hammer to put a small hole in the top of the popsicle stick. Next, color the popsicle stick to match whatever character you are trying to create. Be as detailed as you'd like. Add your googly eyes next to each other on the top part of the popsicle stick. Then, add on any glueable attachments to the popsicle stick. Here, we are using pom-poms to make the Santa hat on the top of the elf's head. Carefully place an ornament holder through the hole in the popsicle stick. That's it! You're all done and ready to place your new merry ornament on your tree. Happy Holidays! Okay, after that video, I definitely feel like I've gained the skills to make this craft myself, but luckily here I have Matt Gray, one of the creators of the video, here with me to demonstrate how these ornaments are created. Hey everyone, thanks so much for having me, Grace. So yeah, it's just, it was just a really fun craft that Brendan and I thought of. I'm not sure really what exactly inspired about, but I was just thinking, you know, something simple that anyone could do, so let's get started. So the first step, like I said in the video, was to use the hammer and nails and put a hole in it, but we decided to just kind of move past that part. So just make sure for the, you, you take the two popsicle sticks, tape them together. And the reason you do that is because whenever you just use one popsicle stick and you use a hammer on it, it like exploded. So we couldn't really do that. So put them together, put a hole on both sides. And then from there, you can pretty much just grab whatever colors you'd like. Like for my project, I did like a little like Santa elf guy, but you can color them like whatever type of color you want, like just go crazy with it. So just create like a basic like body there. Oh, this one's dead, but it's all right. <laughs> so yeah. See, look at that, Grace. Grace got the lucky marker. Grace <laughs> decided to work, so. Yeah, so then you color it, and whenever you get to the top where the head is, these are really small googly eyes. These were like the only googly eyes they had at Michael's. <laughs> <laughs> like I went, I looked for googly eyes, and they literally just had these like so tiny ones. You can't even My see God. on the camera. But yeah, so then it's like make a smiley face or something, and then you can just kind of like add glue where the eyes would go. Is this open? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. So yeah, there you go. Well, I'm a real professional. I know, right? Here. Look at you go. Martha Clearly Stewart watch my video who? very closely. <laughs> Try that. Crafting queen. Okay, what's after the eyes? And then I added like a little pom-pom on top of his hat because it was like a little Christmas hat. So you could just put some glue there and then, yeah. And then just kind of put that on top. And there you go. Oh, and then cute. To attach to your tree, you just place one of these ornament hooks on top. Um, and... I originally was going to do string, but we found that this was a lot easier to do. So, yeah, just the ornament hook right through the hole, and ta-da, there you go. I'll go through <laughs> your tree. Okay, uh, well, thank you so much, Matt, for no that demonstration. Problem. Up next, we have Then versus Now Xmas, which is a funny tribute to the holidays of the past. I'm so excited to relate to this one. This adorable project was created by Mia Cantwell, Sarah Hazo, and Ashlyn Morgan.
Wow, I relate to texting my mom links to clothes I want on a personal level. I thought that it was so funny that in some parts of the video, the sound cut out on the now part to crickets. Our next project was created by Julius Garden. Filmed in our very own library, Christmas Cookie Chaos features an intense fight scene over the last available Christmas cookie. Let's take a look at this silly and suspenseful project. Want to be Christmas break already? Yeah, school's so boring. I'm pretty hungry. Hey guys, I brought in cookies, but there's only one left. In this cookie. Okay, here with me now, I have Julia to tell a little bit about her project. So Julia, what was the inspiration? So I was in media last year and we did a fight scene and I absolutely loved editing it. So I knew whenever we had the opportunity to do a creative project, that was what I wanted to do. And why do you choose to film it in school versus like out of school? So I normally go to the library for first period study hall and the group of people I was with, we actually did have this conversation and we had just been assigned the Christmas project. I was like, oh my gosh, wait, this could be so fun. I could do a fight scene. And the idea of really took off from there. Oh, I loved it. Well, thank you so much for telling us about <laughs> it. Um, our next project created by Grace Belcher, Kieran Moorhead and Emma Talbin is all about getting ready for Christmas. Get in the Christmas spirit by viewing He's Always Watching and see if you can spot Santa's special surprise. Did you spot Eric the Elf in the background of all their shots? He was certainly there to witness Grace, Kieran, and Emma prepare for Christmas. Have you ever wondered what goes on in the North Pole when it's not Christmas time? This next project will answer that question for you. Created by myself and Hannah Masiha, The Off Season is a reality show starring three important figures in Santa's workshop.
I'm Mrs. Claus. The, the Santa Claus's wife. And I've been married to him for about 75 years, so he does give me a lot of presents. I just really don't get why um, people start decorating for Christmas in June. Like, give me time to be with my husband. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Why this wife? Why this wife? All of them lasted one season? I, I can't, I can't do this. I, I can't do this. Cut, cut, cut. So like, I don't get what the problem is with like the global warming and like how people like want to save the environment. Cause like, it's like more money, less problems. Like, I mean, the more money we get, the more money I get to spend. I'm gonna call her out. I am sick of her controlling me. She is not the boss here. Mr. Claus is Santa Claus. Why is there a Christmas tree? It's only June. Um, do you know how long this took? How much hard work this took? You know, I'll let you use this. I don't really care. I cannot believe this. <laughs> it's already June and we need to start prepping for Christmas. And that I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mrs. Claus. She won't listen to me. And I went and tried to get Santa milk and cookies, but it's so hot outside in the milk. It, it got all gross in the sun, and then and and I felt so terrible. I didn't know what to do. And I had to go find new milk, and I didn't I didn't know where to look. And I and then the cookies they they burnt in the sun because I'm not used to this climate. So just between you and me. I want to uh, take her out, but not like on a Christmas vacation, cause that's just for Mr. Claus and um, I. Excuse me, do you even know my name? Um, her? Oh it's God. candy cane stripes to you. I am your personal assistant. Okay, can we so talk I about this? Going... Can we talk about this later? I need to go get my hair uh, cut. I... Thanks. I... <gasps> I don't get angry often, but when that absolute <laughs> Mrs. Claus is in the room, I change. Okay, a cut, cut. I did not like that shot, okay? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. I, think, I think you need to do it again because that was absolutely. I wonder what Claudia Claus and Candy Cane Stripes are feuding about now. Next up, The Secret Life of an Elf showcases how all our elves think of what we're doing during the Christmas season. This project was created by Taylor Aiello and Anna Radner. I hope she's more behaved than last year. I've been back for one day and she's already out of control. Finally, now I can move. I'm really hungry. Hmm, so many options. I'll watch a movie. Let me bake some cookies. Now I want to ride my scooter. This is so fun. Better get back, she's gonna be home soon. Now I gotta go back and make some toys. My kid is so bad. Mine's been good so far. 
I really love seeing the elf flying around in this creative ode to Santa's helpers. Sadly, that's all the time we have together. I really enjoyed seeing all the fabulous projects created by Period 8's talented media students. I hope you enjoyed viewing our projects because we really enjoyed making them. From the Period 8 broadcasting class, have a safe, healthy, and happy holiday.